And there's a rabbit right there. A bunny rabbit. Don't run away yet. Don't run away yet. Don't run away yet. Did you wear a mask? <laughs> he's not he's not afraid like he's not running away we just came across this little rabbit here just chilling by the path he's right at the edge of the path right by the street it's weird that he's not running away maybe he's very used to seeing people around he's a brave little bunny There he goes. See, there's another thing you can see when you go out in the wild. You might see some black bunnies. Or what are those called? The, not black bunnies, but like a, it's like a, oh, I should know all this stuff. I took natural history of this area too. I should know this. That's a, hmm, what kind of bird is making that noise in this tree? Well, it's the type of bunny that lives a rabbit that lives natively around here. You can tell it's one of them and it's not uh, like somebody's pet that got loose. Because of the black tail, it's common to the species that it lives naturally in the Central Valley. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, they're native. There's some kind of bird in this tree that's making a great racket. I wish I could see which bird it was. Oh, there it's moving. I see you up there. Let's go see if we can find our pheasant friend if he didn't leave yet. <laughs> <laughs>